is going to be my recipe for punchki. I got this recipe out of an old Polish cookbook that was printed in 1948, and I've been using it for many, many years. Also, my mom's recipe was very similar to this anyway. And I don't have all the ingredients out here be yet because I'm going to just show you how to make the sponge. And then the sponge has to sit and grow a little bit before we add all the rest of the ingredients. What I did is I took one and one half cups of whole milk and I scalded it on the stove. And that just means that I let it come up until there were bubbles around the edges. I didn't let it come to a rolling boil. I took it off, I poured it into my mixer bowl, and I let it sit here for about 10 or 15 minutes to cool down a bit. And then over here, I have a bowl with six cups of flour. And this is going to be all the flour that's used in all the punchki. But to start with, I'm only going to take about one cup of this to make the sponge, put it into that milk, and then I'm going to put it on my mixer. And I'm going to use my paddle attachment right now because it's not a lot of flour in here. And I want this to be smooth. And I'm going to just mix it until it's smooth. All right, that's pretty well mixed. Now I'm going to take my yeast, and as I always do, I buy it in bulk. And this is going to take three tablespoons. And I'm just going to sprinkle those three tablespoons over the yeast flour mixture and just blend that until it's mixed up pretty well. Make sure I get everything off of the sides so that everything's into the base. And that's it. So I'll just make sure I get everything mixed up there again. And now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and I'm going to let it sit at room temperature for about a half an hour. And then we'll come back and I'll add all the rest of the ingredients to it. The next thing we need to do for our punchki is work with the egg yolks. Now, that's a lot of egg yolks. That's 20 egg yolks. In this old cookbook I told you about, there's a little story in the front and in, in front of every recipe. And in this one, it says a good Polish baker always uses one egg yolk per punchki. So we're assuming we're going to get about 20 punchki out of this recipe. Sometimes I get 18, sometimes I get 21. I'm going to put them in my mixer. I've seen a lot of recipes for punchki. I've never seen any that use quite as many egg yolks. And then one teaspoon of salt. What I'm going to do, put this on my mixer and beat it until it gets light and lemony colored. That's going to take about two or three minutes. It's been about two minutes. They're well beaten up. Now, as you can see, I've got my sponge back here that's been sitting for about a half an hour. And to that, I'm going to add these eggs all at once. I don't know if you've ever had punch cake, but if you ever get the opportunity, you should try them. Um, I'm not a big fan of the ones they sell in the supermarkets because that's more like a donut. This is different, especially with all these egg yolks. Okay. To this, I'm going to add one cup of flour. I mean, excuse me, sugar. One cup of sugar. We'll add the flour later. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of brandy. Now, some people use um, rum, but my mother always said brandy. And so that's what mother says goes. Okay. Now, use that same paddle. 
and just blend this for now. Get our sugar ready, I mean our flour ready. I'm getting sugar and flour mixed up today, but anyways, this is the five remaining cups of flour. And then I also have 14 tablespoons of melted butter, which I'm letting cool down a bit. That's gonna go into this also. Okay, that's about right. Get rid of that attachment. And now I will add, I think about half of the flour. I just don't want to get sprayed with it, which I probably will anyway. And now I'm going to move to the dough cook. There's so many egg yolks in here. It's yellow. It's eggy. It's, it's so good. You have to try this recipe. down that flour. I'm going to add a little bit of the butter. It's about half. Okay. To scrape down the sides. in the rest of my flour. And this is definitely the part where I risk wearing it. Far so good, I haven't been sprayed yet. And then add the butter. Now you don't Maybe a little bit sticky at this point. Mine's looking like it's a little bit sticky. If it is, you can add a little bit more flour if it's really too sticky. You want it to be sticky to touch, but not sticky that you get it all over your hands. See, so you'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna give this a little bit more and then I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. want your dough to be somewhat sticky because when you go to seal them, they will seal much better if they're sticky. If they're too dry, you're going to have a lot of trouble making them sealed up. And you really want the filling to remain inside. Okay, now we got a little bit of snow going on. I think this is going to be all I have to add. That was probably less than a quarter of a cup I just put in. Maybe a little bit more. Mm, not much more. A couple tablespoons more. Now I'm going to put it in a greased bowl and I'm going to let it rise for about an hour. And then once it's risen for about an hour, then we'll fill them. And I will tell you about the fillings at that time. Let's 
sticky, but I'm not getting a mess on my hand. So it's about right. Like I said, you want it to be sticky because of the filling that you're going to put into it later. So now I'm just going to get it out of this bowl, put it into a grease bowl, cover it up, and about an hour at room temperature. That's it. One hour at room temperature. I'll grease the top of it so it doesn't stick to the plastic wrap. Now we're going to start forming our punch key. But before we do, I'm going to talk a little bit about the fillings. A lot of you who are not familiar with the um, kind of punch key that you would get in Poland or you get over here, it's more like a jelly donut and you use a jelly filling. And that's perfectly all right if that's what you want. I'm going to make the kind that I was brought up with and that my mother taught me. And that is either a prune filling or a maraschino cherry filling, or put both in the same one. I kind of like both in the same one, but that's up to me. Um, this is called Lekvar, which is prune butter. You can buy this already made in the supermarket, but I made my own yesterday. I took a regular box, 16 ounces of uh, prunes, dried prunes. I took a, one and a half cups and I put them in a pot. I put in two thirds cup of water, little lemon zest, and three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And I put the lid on the pot and I just let it on a really low, low, low heat. And I just left it there for about a half an hour until the prunes were soft. I then drained them. I put them in my food processor, whizzed them around with a third of a cup of brown sugar. And that became my prune butter. Now the dough rose, I dumped it out, punched it down, and I let it sit for about 10 minutes so that it just gets ready to rest. I've got some extra flour here for me to, because this is going to get messy. And I've got sheet pans that I covered in wax paper. You can use wax paper, you can use aluminum foil, you can use silk pads if you want to, but then I floured it just so that they don't stick. We're going to put our formed punch key on those pans, and then we're going to cover them and let them rise before we fry them. So let's get going here. Just going to take, I don't like big punch key. I like punch, you know, like bigger, a little bit bigger than my fist after they've risen. Now you, you, you take a piece of dough like this, that's going to double in size easily. So first thing I do is make it smooth and then I make it into a round sort of, pat it flat. So I've got like a flat pocky puck. I take some of the prune butter, not a lot because you don't want it seeping out and one cherry, or you can put just prune butter or just cherry, or you can use your jelly if you want to. And then close it up, and just bringing up the sides. This is why you want the dough to be a little on the sticky side, because it will seal nicely. And just round it off, and there's one punch cake flour my hands a little bit because they're already getting really, really sticky. So I'm just going to keep doing these until I use up all the dough. And then I will cover them with a tea towel, as I said, and I will let them rise at room temperature for about an hour or a little bit more than an hour. And then I'll come back and I will show you frying. Punch key have risen and now it's time to fry. This is the fun part. I've got a little fryer here today. Usually I use a bigger pot, but this one fits on the table here. And so I'm going to be frying them one by one. A little tedious, but I don't mind. I won't make you sit through all of it. So our punch key have risen well. Be very careful when lifting them up. And then putting them into 350 degree oil or shortening. I use shortening because that's what my mother always used and that's what she said she liked the best. So that's what I'm using. 
Uh, if you want to use oil, then that's up to you. So we'll fry them for about two or three minutes on each side. Punchki, unlike donuts, when you look at a donut, it's golden brown. This is going to be dark brown, and that's just the nature of the beast with real punchki. So we'll just give it its two or three minutes on this side, and then we'll flip it over. And here it comes, our first one out of the fryer. Let it drain a little bit. See what I mean by it's much darker than a donut? That's what a punch key looks like. Now I'm just gonna keep on frying until they're all done. Here's the finished punch key. They're still very, very warm. Now, if you're gonna notice, they look different. These are darker, these are lighter. I did an experiment and I cooked these in shortening, a good quality shortening, and I did these in canola oil. So it really depends. This is the way my mom's always looked. It's up to you. Some people don't like the darker, they like this shade, if you will. Now, once they are cool, I can't do them yet. You roll them in powdered sugar. This is one that I did, it was like the first one or second one that I did, so it's pretty cool. And you just roll them in powdered sugar and that's your finished punchki. Smachne. Enjoy.